Monica, the elevator's not working. I need your help. 92-year-old Maddie D. Williams from the Wagner House has sent PIX11 this video. Williams lives on the 12th floor of the 16-story building at the Wagner Houses. She says the two elevators in her building have been working consistently since July. I cannot imagine you doing stairs. Me neither. On Tuesday afternoon, one of the two elevators serving the building was out of order. Notices were up telling residents NYCHA was working on fixing the problem. Do you feel stuck in your home? Yeah. I do because I love to go. William says she's been doing a lot of crossword puzzles lately because the elevator service is uncertain. She doesn't dare leave her apartment. She was stuck with her groceries downstairs for several hours this week. It's beautiful today, so you want to come out. Her neighbor, 75-year-old Geraldine Richard, says inconsistent elevator service is not only an inconvenience, but a health hazard for older residents. We've been stuck in the house for almost a year now, a year and something, so... When you want to come out, you want to come out. This would mean a lot to the seniors to get both elevators. Working. Yes. On a consistent basis. Yes, everyday basis. <laughs> Every day, not every other day. Williams and Richards say they just want to know what NYCHA is doing about maintenance and repairs. NYCHA tells us, quote, NYCHA elevator staff has resolved electrical issues with the controller that were affecting the elevators. The elevators were inspected today and both were running without any issues. They need to get new ones or get the proper part of someone who know what they are doing. But every week or so, it's just, that's not fair. We will be back to check on these elevators and make sure they stay working for the people who live here, especially the seniors. And if you have a story, just do what Geraldine did. Send us your stories and videos to Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We're making it happen in East Harlem. Monica Morales, PIX11 News.